This is a little bit of an informational video for you guys. Um, a few days ago, we almost lost our house. And that's not hyperbole. I mean it. We almost lost this place. If this event had happened an hour earlier, we'd be homeless. Um, it has to do with these battery boxes. Okay? I have uh, a whole bunch of these battery boxes. But two of the battery boxes I have, my favorite units, now they're no longer my favorite units, <laughs> um, were designed to function as full-time UPSs. So this is basically just a big battery. You plug it in to charge it up, and then it has outlets. You have lights here, 12-volt outlets, 110-volt inverter, USB ports, stuff like that. You know, it's just a battery box. These other units are full-time UPS battery boxes. So 300 watt hours of lithium batteries, 500 watt inverter built in. And you, instead of plugging in a charger, you plug in an AC cord, just like the AC cord you would use for your computer, just like one of these. And um, it was full-time, so it would run off the AC power, theoretically, and then if the power ever went out, it would switch over to the internal lithium ion battery and run whatever it was plugged into it. And if power came back on, it would switch back over to AC and charge up the battery. I suspect, um, I don't know. I don't know if it just never stopped charging or if something failed. I don't know. But the battery pack lit off inside the house. Lithium ion batteries, when compromised, can be extraordinarily energetic. They can actually explode. They catch on fire. They can be very, very dangerous. Um, especially raw naked cells. Usually things like this are pretty safe. Um, I think it has something to do with the fact that this one was a, a live UPS. Um, I heard some hiss popping coming from my bed. I was in my bedroom and I heard some hiss popping out here in the lab. And I thought it was the cat getting into the food. <laughs> the cats have been trying to get into the food, you know, between feeding sometimes. And um, so I came out to investigate, and the entire kitchen living room was full of smoke. And I heard more hiss pop. I came over here, and thankfully this table is metal, so nothing caught fire. Um, I came over here, and flames started coming out of the battery. <laughs> so I grabbed the battery, yanked the cords out of it, went outside, looked for an area of the lawn that was all dirt, and chucked it into that area of the lawn. And for the next, you know, about 15 minutes... This thing was blowing up, shooting off flaming batteries, flames coming out of it six feet tall, um, and burned for 10 or 15 minutes, and there was nothing I could do about it. Um, you can't spray water on this. Whatever you do, do not spray water on them. It'll, it'll, it'll get more energetic. <laughs> you, know, you just put either foam on it or you put dirt on it. And so I kept covering it with dirt. Uh, at one point, I had to back off because it was actually cells were popping off inside the battery I don't want to say they were blowing up they were detonating but that's not actually a detonation it's just gas overpressurization and and the cells were ejecting I just got hit in the chest with one of the cells <laughs> I was like okay time to back up <laughs> and I used a broom and covered it with dirt until it went off and then I realized I have two of those batteries so I promptly unplugged the second one and it's sitting outside in one of the freezers right now I realized I couldn't just lay it on the ground. It might start a fire. I couldn't lay it on my deck. It might light the house on fire or the deck on fire. So it's sitting inside of a freezer. I think it's safe as long as it's not plugged in. So um, I'm going to build a metal cage. I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to build a metal cage for that one. I'm going to use that as an outdoor UPS that I only plug in when I need it. And this way, if it, if it lights off, it'll be in a metal box and it can't be a danger. But um, yeah, those... That battery will no longer be allowed inside my house. <laughs> so this is kind of a, um, a warning to be careful with lithium batteries. It's one of the reasons I now prefer battery boxes that use lithium iron phosphate batteries. Both these battery boxes are over five years old. I've had them quite a long time. Um, six, seven years old even. If you guys remember my first trip to um, Murph, I had one of these powering my printer. Um... So be careful. Uh, if you're going to buy one of these battery boxes, especially a larger one that you plan to use indoors, um, get lithium iron phosphate. L-I-F-E-P-O-4, lithium iron phosphate. Lithium iron phosphate does not have the same volatility 
that lithium ion does. They don't tend to go boom um, and burn down houses. <laughs> if that had happened an hour earlier when I was asleep, yeah, that would have been bad. It's a, it's a sobering and humbling experience. It, it wakes you up to, you know, something as innocuous as a battery can be so dangerous. So, um, you know, that's why I'm gonna, when I do my conversion of my UPSs over to lithium, I'm going to do them all with lithium iron phosphate batteries because these aren't um, quite as dangerous as lithium iron or lithium ion batteries. Although I'm going to verify that and make sure. But uh, yeah, well, here's a video. I obviously, once I got the, you know, I put the cats in the bedroom and I opened up the front and back door because the entire house was filled with lithium smoke <laughs> from the batteries popping off. Still stinks. A week later, it still stinks. But um, here's some video of what that looks like and you can see how vigorous the reaction is. Be careful out there. Oh, well, that's not good. That thing started to catch fire. Holy shit. Yeah. That's why I chucked it out there. Holy shit. If I was asleep, that would have been bad. Yeah, that damn thing's still on fire. It started smoking up inside the house. I realized the lithium cells were popping off. So I chucked it outside. Ah, more cells popping off. Oh, there's one of the 18650s. Alright. Let's try to put some more sand on it. Stop the open flames at least. Don't put water on this. The lithium will react. They're in my bedroom. The lithium will react quite badly. If you try to use water, you'd want to use a foam fire extinguisher. But don't attempt to put it out. Once these things start to cascade, that's it. Um, you're probably not going to save anything. What you need to do is get the hell out of the house. Put it someplace where it can hit all these cells on the ground, exploding out of the unit. You know, don't don't try to save anything. That's done. Once one of those cells goes off, it's going to be a cascade reaction of shorting and popping off more cells. Just get it the hell out of the house. My God, if this had happened while I was asleep, wow! I just happened to hear the hissing. And I saw the smoke when I came out. Just get it someplace where it can't hurt anything. I'm keeping an eye out. Make sure none of these cells reached any of this really dry grass. I'm going to try to put some bricks over top of it, so if it decides to pop off again, it can't go nowhere.